Stop stressing about creating DTF gang sheets just like these. It's super easy, and I'm going to walk you through the entire process using Kittle. It's an online-based website, so you just have to create an account, and then we'll get started. If you're ready to utilize DTF prints, make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and we will just get right into it. Today we'll be utilizing Kittle, which is an online-based website that you can kind of do all of your designs. They house a lot of options for you, especially if you are a beginner. They have endless amounts of templates, tools, including different videos that you can even go in and learn from other creators. If you are a beginner, I highly recommend because they give you a diverse range of options to choose from, but it's also super easy and beginner friendly. The first thing that you're going to have to do is set up an account. There are paid versions and a pro version, but either way, just start with the free version first. You can sign up with your Google account or Facebook or any way that's going to suit you. I will say if you would like to go with the professional account, which unlocks basically everything, including the AI features, you can save 25% on your first month using my code KayleeTT. At this point, you'll be signed up, you'll be into your account, and you will see in the top right-hand toolbar, new project. It usually opens about 20 by 20, something like that. I always start in the top left, changing out my description. That way I know exactly what I'm looking for if I need to go back. This white box in the center is your artboard. And the cool thing is you can really change this to any size. It's super easy. And the way that you can drag and drop it is my favorite feature here. But we're going to go over and change this to 22 inches in width because when you're ordering a gang sheet, they're 90% of the time coming at 22 inches. And then our height, we're just going to go with 10 foot today, which is 120 inches. And when you're ordering gang sheets, you are always ordering in the height, which is like your role. At this point, you are ready. And this is your quote unquote gang sheet art board. This is going to look the exact way it comes in as the way that you are designing it. So I like to take a moment, back myself out and be able to see the entire artboard just to kind of give myself a visual. At this point, we are ready to add our artwork. And the neat thing about Kittle is they have a bunch of pre-made templates, artwork, graphic designs. All you need to do is look them up. And they're not generic like some of the other sites. There's a lot of different web designers that come on here. There's challenges, endless amount of things, which is why they have some really neat graphics. If you click on that left toolbar or just hover over, it's going to open with a bunch of options. And then other templates, you are going to see a bunch of different templates logos, t-shirt, hoodie designs, and it kind of changes too with the season, so you may even see a Christmas or a New Year's. But today, I'm a big fan of uploading my own artwork, so we're going to go down to the upload button, and you'll see that these two graphics I'm already choosing to work with. I've already came in here and kind of played around before I built the video, but I am going to show you how to upload those. So at the top here, it shows you a couple different files that you can upload. Always make sure that they are high quality and original graphics. We should never be saving an image from like Google and then uploading it. The quality is going to be very poor, which will translate over to your prints. These do take just a moment to upload, but once they're in there, you are ready to grab and go. Simply click your design and it will appear on your artboard. We'll start with one first, and we're actually going to do two separate designs just to show you that you can mix and match here. It doesn't all have to be the same design. Now let's imagine we're putting these on adult size shirts. So over here in the right hand side, I want to resize this. A good rule of thumb for let's say medium to even 2X is about 10 inches in width. So I'm going to resize this, and as you can see, it automatically resizes the height as well. 10 by 10 will work perfect for this. So it's time to get into building our gang sheet. And this is actually super easy. If you've seen my other videos, the process is pretty much the same no matter what software you are using. You're going to start by placing your first graphic all the way at the top hand corner. And for 22 inches wide, you can usually always fit two across if you're using an adult size shirt. Now, if they're smaller or children's size, you may even be able to fit more. If you run into this error, where are you trying to copy and paste and it's not allowing you? For me, I use Google Chrome. Sometimes I just have to allow the clipboard to have access. This is how you would do that. It's super easy and it's not going to break down your firewall. Then you're able to go back in, copy, paste, and follow the process. 
Now, this does take a little bit of time to get things lined up, but it is by no means difficult. Copy and paste putting these right next to each other, and they don't have to be perfect because we will be fixing that later in the video. Just get a rough idea. Then we're going to copy and paste both of them down to this next section. We're not going to go through here and try to line them all up. Remember, we want to save time, so just be diligent. For today's gang sheet, I am going to do the top half in one design and the bottom half in another design. So let's say we're going to do roughly 12 of this first design. Instead of copy and pasting two and two and two, I'm going to grab the entire four section and then drag and drop. Always remember where that bottom zoom button is. Sometimes it's easier to zoom in and out throughout your project. That way you get a clear visual of how everything is going to lay out. Another thing to keep in mind, when these come in, you do have to cut them apart. So you need enough space to fit scissors in between, but not too much space that you're actually wasting a bunch of room. I know I mentioned this previously in the video, but if this is your first time working with gang sheets or any type of DTF orders, here are a few tips. Number one, you can mix and match your designs. You can literally add a hundred different designs, all different styles and sizes, or one design, all the same size and style. It's totally up to your creative freedom. Now, the next thing is DTF transfers, whether UV DTF or regular DTF, do not need to be mirrored. They're much more unique than, let's say, sublimation or vinyl transfers. And if you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments or check out my DTF transfers playlist. I think you'll find a lot of learning lessons over there that's going to help guide you through the entire process. And the last and probably most important tip that I can give you is be very attention to detail when you are creating your gang sheet. Oftentimes when you submit to third-party printing services, they are not double-checking your artwork. Me, personally, I always order through Transfer Gang, and one thing I like is that they know that we're all human, so they do a quick double-check, and they will reach out and say, hey, we need a different upload, or something's looking a little overlapping here. So make sure that you can fit scissors in between, nothing's overlapping, and everything is on the artboard. If you would like to check out Transfer Gang, I do have their link down in the description below. They have different locations all over the U.S., so their shipping time is fantastic, let alone their pricing structure is incredible. Okay, back to it. Now, this part is going to help you so much when you get this in the mail. Grab the entire section on one side, the whole right column, and then select Tidy Up. This is going to make sure that there is even spacing between each graphic, kind of making sure nothing's overlapping, and putting them in the center. You're going to do this to both sides. Now let me tell you why. When your artboard comes in or your gang sheet comes in and it's time to cut these apart, if they are all very lined up, it is so easy to just slide your scissors down, making the process so much quicker. Now, one last thing is I like to center my artboard so it gives it a nice amount of borders on each side. And that also makes sure that nothing is hanging off the sides here. You will see in Kittle if I grab and drop over the entire artboard, it's not going to allow me to move the images inside. So make sure that you don't grab the entire artboard and you're just grabbing the art inside of the artboard, if that even makes sense. Okay, I know I've been rambling and we are just about at the end of this. It's time to download and most places want you to download a transparent PNG file or a PDF file. And Kittle allows you to do both. It's very easy and make sure that this PNG is a transparent background. Now, if you do want to go through the ordering process, I have a full tutorial for you. It just popped up there on the screen on the left. So if you missed it, slide back or read the description down below. I'm literally here to walk you through the entire process. You can do this too. And honestly, it's not a gimmick. It is as easy as it looks. 